G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is ratios. This is just a basic introduction into ratios. And in some later videos, we will be looking at how to play around with these and work out some more complex things with them. So first off, what is a ratio? A ratio is a way of comparing uh, two or more sets of quantities. I'll give you an example that if that sounds a little bit funny. So say I was looking at the amount of cordial in a drink, okay? So I've bought myself some cordial, I'm adding it to a drink, and it could say something like I'm adding for every three parts cordial, one, two, three, three parts cordial, I have seven parts water, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this would be said to have a ratio of three parts to seven, three is to seven, okay, and this is how we write these, all right? So we're comparing one quantity to another quantity. So they're pretty simple, and you can do this for all sorts of quantities, okay? Uh, whether it be things to do with weight or just even sheer amounts of things. And we'll go through a few examples with this. So just a couple of things with ratios. Uh, the first one is this. Uh, I guess the first thing I'd want to tell you is that units are important with ratios. I'll give you an example. Say I wanted to compare three centimeters to a measurement of 20 centimetres. You'll notice that these are both in centimetres and it's fairly simple. We could say that these had a ratio, you guessed it, of 3 is to 20. Okay, We don't actually write the units, we just write it has a ratio of 3 is to 20. But I'll make this a little bit harder now. Say for example I change this, this 2, or I change it to 2 metres. Now how would you write a ratio of these two amounts? Because you'll notice that we have different units. So we're going to change one of these units. I'm not going to change the centimetres here. I'm going to leave that the same, 3 centimetres. But I'm going to change this so that the 2 metres is also in centimetres. There's 100 centimetres in a metre, so this is 200 centimetres. Now we can easily write a ratio where this is a ratio of 3 is to 200. Okay? Now, we're going along fairly well with this, so hopefully you're not finding it too hard because it is fairly simple, but a few people do you know, panic when they get these. So the other thing with ratios is ratios can also be written as fractions. So say uh, we were looking at something like, um, okay, what about seconds and minutes? Say I was looking at 17 seconds and I wanted to compare this to one minute. Now, first off, what you'll notice is to write this as a ratio, I need to change this, okay? So I'm going to change this all into seconds, 17 seconds, and 60 seconds here, okay? So we'd have a ratio of 17 is to 60. We can also write this as 17 over 60. We can write this in a fractional form, okay? And that's all that means is, but ratios can also be written in a fractional form. Uh, the other thing with ratios is they can be made into more simple forms, okay? This is something we're going to have a look at more extensively in another video. So, I'll give you an example of this. Say I was talking about the amount of kids walking to school. Uh, we could say 20% of kids in a class didn't walk to school, they got a lift off their parents, and 80% walked to school. So we could write this as a ratio as 20 to 80, okay, and that's that's fine, we've got a ratio there of 20 to 80, but you can actually simplify this further, you're going to notice that 10 goes into these numbers, so I could divide 10 into both of these, alright, and if I do that, divided by 10, I would get 2 is to 8, and you might look at that and go, hey, wait a second, 2 also goes into this number, 2 goes into both of these numbers once and four times, 2 goes into two once and into eight four times. So we can simplify a ratio and make it more simple. And you'll notice that, you know, this is always four times as much as this, you know, this number is eight is four times as much as this number and eight's four times as much as two and one's four times as much as, as four there, okay? So <laughs> this is a, just a simplified version of a ratio. Okay, so hopefully that uh, helps you a little bit with ratios. In some next videos coming up, we will actually be looking at uh, just how to Simplify ratios and that sort of deal. Okay, see you next time. Bye.